Hello everyone and welcome back to Race Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2. I have made changes to my shuttle since the previous video that I hope will solve the problems from the previous video post-patch. And the problem was that the small wing that we had as the inner part of the wing was ripping off. And that's because I guess it has low impact tolerance, it just wasn't taking the stress, especially on landing. And the reason I had used a small wing in the first place was because it got the right shape of the wing. When we put the wing, you know, right on the body here, which is where I had the wing before, uh, the medium wing, even at zero size, uh, just wouldn't have the right shape. Let me show you. So if we have the medium wing here and we make the wing span to zero, you can see it's uh, still even a little bit longer than what we have as the inner wing right now. But uh, when we have the wing angle, it doesn't sweep back the way it needs to. If we have a little bit of span, it'll sweep back. But And then we can have the root length more and the tip length more. Uh, but even now, it's not enough. We have to get it maybe 0.03. And so it's very long here, and it won't look right. Well, it won't look right if we put the way we had before. That's why I used a small wing. But I decided to change its location and tuck it underneath. Instead of mounting it up here, we now mount it down here. And so I can use the middle wing. So that's the middle wing now. And so it can use more of its length so it's not swept forward like it tends to want to do. So that is the solution. Now the middle wing has more impact tolerance, can bear the stress. Of course, we've put struts on. That, that was true of the small wing as well. Uh, and then we also have the middle wing outside. Now, you might have thought, well, this is an obvious solution, right? Well, no, because if you want the wing to look like the shuttles, the shuttle doesn't have lifting surfaces up front here. But now we do, right? This part, the game still reads this as part of the lift over here. And the net result of that is that the whole thing becomes imbalanced if you just leave it like that and don't think about that a little bit more. Uh, the center of lift gets pulled too far forward in front of the center of mass, and it tends to flip. Now, it doesn't really show that very well here. Uh, right now, it still shows the center of lift far back, but during flight testing, I have tested this a few times. I had to make a few extra tweaks. I think I've got the tweaks ready to go, and so this is the final version that I'm presenting to you, hopefully. Uh, but we need to do an orbital test to see how that works, and I will do that in this video. But basically, well, the center of lift is behind the center of mass, right? You're not gonna get higher up because now we've got a very low mounted wing. Uh, that's not ideal, but uh, this should be okay, right? Well, no, it's still f sort of flippy. Um, the final tweak I made was just increasing the size of the body flap here. Already the wing I've shifted back in order to try and compensate for this. That's why the main wing is now covering part of the area covered by the body flap too. So yeah. Also the fact that I didn't cover the whole bottom is because if we did that, that would make the center of lift issue even worse. So that's why there's this gap here between the wings. Uh, initially I tried to just cover the whole bottom, but the center of lift issue being far forward of the center of mass just didn't allow for that very well. Okay, so here we go. We are using the whiplashes again. Now, in certain flight regimes, the shuttle itself was actually aerodynamically unstable. You can see by the pitch up, it sort of went a little bit too far on the pitch up there. Uh, that is partly because of the center lift issue. But yeah, the shuttle itself wasn't exactly perfectly aerodynamically stable in all flight regimes. I'm going off to the side here so we can do a left turn and then come around to the runway. And we will try that without the engines on. I mean, we'll approach the runway without the engines on. I decided to paint the wings black. I mean, mostly the wings were black. It's just that the creamy white portion of the wings was larger and the leading edge would have been gray. The control surfaces in the back would be black and the bottom would be black, so. But still, we have the light stripe of the body there. 
using the medium-sized wings for the inner portion as well increases their mass a little bit, but not a whole lot. I feel like I should put a lead weight in the nose or something. They did that occasionally with the shuttle. Okay. Trying to turn carefully here. Okay, cutting the engines. Dropping the gear down. And we're a little bit off here. The shuttle did come down at a negative 20 degree angle, so this is not actually wrong right now. But we're aiming for more of the middle of the runway than the threshold of the runway, so that's a little bit different. But when the shuttle came in, it had more speed, that's for sure. Come on, down before you stall. Down before you stall. Okay, well, that'll be fine. Uh, but, yeah, that, that was really slow right there. I don't know if I can duplicate that coming back from orbit. But, as you can see, it sort of works, but it feels unstable. It'd be maybe easier to control for the joystick, but I still haven't gotten joystick to work yet. I tried to... Uh, sort of direct input to X input wrapper because somebody on the forum said that the game could do X input. That's what the X360 controllers use and all that business, but that didn't work out. So still struggling with that. Anyway, recover vessel. Okay, so here we are with the full stack. We've got the same shuttle, except no jet engines, of course. And we now have a partial load of mop propellant. We don't have any payloads, so I didn't put all of the mop propellant in the shuttle. We only filled up the first container rather than the second container. And we'll go like that. Our staging is quite obviously wrong here. Uh, so that's because I had to take off the old shuttle and put the new shuttle back on. I'll have to fix that in the craft file. I think that's all that needs to be fixed. Okay. And go. And launch. Well, it's a bit wiggly. I basically merged the files and I think maybe... I replaced the struts connecting the shuttle to the rest of the stack, but I think maybe I need to replace more struts. <laughs> or I place more struts. It's a little bit bouncy on the fuel line end. Oh, I think it came loose a bit. Let's uh, let's put some more struts. I didn't check which pieces actually got lost there. The struts to the boosters still seem to be connected, assuming they're working. We'll just try those two and see if that works out. Uh, let me change the staging. Okay, trying it again. Well, whoa, it's very wiggly though. And our velocity vector is still not in the right place after a little while. Okay, we're past the speed of sound, but it's, uh, it's wobbly a bit. But there may be something changed with the larger wings, but we're stabilizing now. Okay, booster set. Ooh. Okay, well, alright. Guess they worked. Just going straight out from the Space Center this time, no inclination like with the station. So it'll be easy to come back. Hopefully. Well, with all the energy we have because we don't have cargo, we're uh, ending up with a pretty high apoapsis. But that's fine, the shuttle can correct that. Okay, now I'll do. Actually, very often that was the kind of apoapsis we used for the station. 
Okay, separation and pushing away. OMS engines are working. Well, weird things are still happening to the external tank. As you can see, it's ending up in a weird, really weird elongated orbit. But, alright, around here-ish. Well, around here-ish we'll retroburn. We're close to 100 kilometers here. And we'll just get to a very normal sort of re-entry periapsis. Okay, orienting for entry. So this is the first time I've tried this particular shuttle with these particular wings in re-entry. For all I know, they could be imbalanced during re-entry, right? We only did a flight test at very low speeds. And we have, you know, extra mop balance in the tail. I'm gonna move some of that into the holding tanks up front. For balance. But that's not much. Also, the different wings could get different drag down the way because, well, now we have these medium wings, they should get more drag in this orientation. Oh well, it's like getting much more drag actually. Uh, hold on there. We're gonna burn forward as well. Yeah, we're getting a lot more drag. This was a normal re-entry sort of situation with the old shuttle in the previous patch. And now it's falling way short, so... Well, we have some fuel to use. And we'll just not do as much pitch for now. Well, pretty much trying not to have drag right now. We'll see how it goes. Very different from the previous shuttle. The shuttle had a more continuous thing on the back here. Right, there was a continuous line. It was slightly forward, but it didn't have this kink to it. And that's because I can't shape the wings to uh, the third digit. Basically, these can be 0 0.03 or 0 0.04, but I can't get a thousandth decimal place. Otherwise, I could have gotten that right. We're using a lot of down pitch, and that's still because the center of mass is too far back or the center lift is too far forward. Maybe I'll just have the wing instead of having it forward a bit. Well, I mean, the inner part we can't change. The outer part we could maybe sweep it back even a little bit. Or I could just shift the entire wing back and ignore the fact that the bottom part is covering part of the body flap there. You know, only these parts of the wing actually control the pitch. Uh, there's the inner portion that doesn't have any control. Well, we should be pretty good as far as... our descent path now, so I can pitch up more. If we can control it properly. Right now we're using a lot of RCS to control it. Where is the space center anyway? Shouldn't it be over here? Oh, there it is. It was sort of very well camouflaged there for a sec. Oh, oh, turning is not a good thing. This shuttle is not well balanced. Uh-oh. 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 It's flipping out. Let me try and get the... Out. In. In. In the hope that that'll help. If it could stay like that. Yeah. Okay. Well. Will it manage a fortuitous reorientation here? Right now, it's sort of doing the opposite. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna recover this one. 
So the shuttle, which used to work just fine in the previous version, remains elusive in this version. Though I guess now it's... Uh, it doesn't immediately pop up with the You're Dead dialogue. It's now an underwater water helicopter. Uh, can we recover vessel? I guess we can recover vessel. So we can recover it, I guess. Uh, so success? No, um, no, definitely not. So I'm gonna have to figure out some other way of fixing the center of lift. And again, a part of the problem is we don't get the right feedback in the VAB, right? I mean, this is the shuttle. Now, of course, it's gonna come down without those. And close to the end, we have fuel up here. These are the holding tanks that I use to hold fuel. But let's say they're completely empty. Let's say they're completely empty and we actually still have some in the tail. Just to make a worst case scenario sort of thing. We didn't have much though. Let's say like that. Okay. So that leaves the center mass and center lift like that. So, I mean, not ideal, but uh, we're getting a lot more trouble than that ought to produce. But maybe if I shift the wing up more. Now, the shifting the wing up causes other problems too, if they're large like these are. And, oops, no, I didn't want to deploy that. The other problem is that it starts interfering with the bay. You can see they're already at the bottom there. If we move the wing up, they're going to start interfering with any cargo. So we can't really move them up very easily if we want to keep them the M size wings. And we can't use the S size wings because they don't have enough impact tolerance. So we have to make them big like this, even though that causes problems for our balance. And that is the bind we're in. But I could shift them further back. I don't know if that's going to be better necessarily or not. Um, we'll have to see. So, more testing will be required, but this is uh, the progress that I've made. At least we can land with it safely with the jet engines, but apparently not from orbit. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.